Hello YouTube, this is NASCAR48W2Buff here with the Iron World 3M Truck Series Race 18 here from Richmond for <clears throat> for a great race that's going to be a showdown here at Richmond. It's newly repaved for all three series, so this is just a just uh, like just nobody has a notebook for this newly repaved track that we have here at Richmond. Just newly repaved, going to be crazy. Will it be Wreckfest or will it not be? We may see good racing or you may see uh, Wreckfest like the past races we have seen. On the pole will be a man, second in points, Pichu London, your Michigan winner. And then fourth in points, Jacob York trying to come back after a tough few weeks. He's going to get the outside pole here, just what, we, just what he wanted. Brothers, stop your engines! I did not see that coming. Uh, anyways... Also, we have last week's winner right back here, Jerry Guerrera. Guerrera, just starting just inside the top ten here. He's not really, doesn't really have a shot at getting into the chase. I mean, getting the championship. Actually, he has no shot at all, but he still wants to get wins. As we are going to go green here at Richmond. And the f fans are on their feet, on their feet, and we are here going green here at Richmond on a newly repaved track. You might not notice the difference between the reef pave, but it's very similar to the old kind. So you may not see the Jacob York already in a wreck with Richard Johnson already around right in front of the whole field. Sam Young gets a piece of that. And the field does a pro Oh, Sam Young up on his side. And the field actually did a pretty good job of getting around that. And Peter London will lead us back to the line with Wilhelm Schultz in second. Then Jerry Guerrero already up the third. No, fifth, actually. Dre Allen third. Charles Sanford fourth. And the field did a pretty good job at getting around that. Let's see who's involved in that already. Oh, Jordan up a little. Got a piece. Al T Tyler Jones. Sam Young was on his side. Dylan White. Justin Muse. Alex Jones may have had a piece. But the field did a pretty exceptional job at getting by. Oh, David Rochester and Kyle Sanoski got a piece of it. Maybe, uh... Nicholas Guerrero there. The fuel coming in for pit stops already. A couple cars staying out. And we will take you to see what happened. Looks like they're pushing on the first lap. Wilhelm Schultz going to make it four wide. Richard Johnson slides up in the Jacob York. Jacob York going to get a nice piece of the wall. Same with Richard Johnson. That's really going to hurt York today in the championship. Right around in the whole field. Look at Anna Gregg. I think that is doing a nice job getting around. Beth Beat going to not hit her. Look at the 10 slowing, and then there's the 19's piece right there. It's going to get hit by Rochester. That's how Rochester got his damage. Suznowski hits him. His teammate Dylan Poti gets by. Then, ooh, there's Tyler Jones hit. Ooh, Jordan Apolito got a piece, and that's how the 19 got onto its side. Jordan Apolito, third in points. And the field did a pretty nice job at getting around that. Let's take an onboard here from Sam Young. And then we'll take you back to the green here from Richmond. And he just comes to a halt on his side and back on his wheels. He may be able to still run in this, actually. Yeah, it looks like he may be able to still run in this. Doing a little donut and getting right back around. And we'll take you back to the green here from Richmond. And we are back. No new retired cars, but Tyler Jones and the 13 have won a lap down. And Peter London's your leader. Wilhelm Schultz second. Anna, I mean, Anna Gregg third. Jacob York fourth. And Jacob Sisko fifth. One thing else I would like to say as we're going back to the green. um, I will be uploading races a lot more faster. I've just had a busy past two months. So sorry about the long wait. Anyways, Peter London gets a nice start. Oh, oh, wait, oh, Jacob York stuck behind the lap cars again. Can they keep it going through the corner? Yes, they can. Oh, there goes the 14 who's in the hunt. Same with Brian James who's in the hunt of this. As, we're wa as we just saw that, they got to be careful coming off turn four. And look at the move Jacob York's, uh, York is making. But, oh, Sam Young back involved in this again. William Duncan got a piece in the back. No, that this was a separate wreck, actually. Oh, Richard Johnson, Jerry Guerrero, Brent. Brandon Bain, who's up there in points. 
Brian James, wow, points contenders, except for Pichu London, London and Jacob York are having really bad days. They head back down the pit road, Pichu London having a really nice time, but Wilhelm Schultz got back past them, and we'll take you to see what happened. Jacob York, who's I believe 6th and 7th in points, and Brian James, who I believe is 5th in points, they both get uh, turning each other there, there's Catherine Ru Young, and oh, that was a whale of a hit into the inside wall, it's gonna come back up. Does a nice job. Ooh, clips Seth Cole and Dylan Young. William Duncan gonna get a small piece of that. Comes back down William Dun There's Brandon Baines part. William Duncan gonna take a whale of a hit in the outside wall. Brandon Bain up there in points gonna get hit. And there's Siznoski and here comes the rest of the field and they're gonna get by that somehow. But Sam Young gonna get nailed by Justin Musing and get back into that. There's another wreck up here with somebody. Oh, I think it was the 59 maybe getting a piece. No, the 59 and the 9 save, but it was up here. Oh, right in the middle of the field, actually. Oh, looks like Jerry Guerrero got a piece. Oh, here comes Alex Jones going to nail the... Oh, did a pretty good job of keeping it together. Let's see what happened to your last week's winner at Pocono. What happened to him? Oh, so looks like it was something up here. Oh, the 60 gets into the 74, up into the 08. Gonna go into the wall, and he's gonna actually get by it. And here comes Jerry Guerrero, and absolutely nowhere to go. Gonna get in a piece into the 08. Catherine Young is there. Spin him around. Here comes Jacob Lawler. Gonna get a little piece into the fender. Then the 9 back here, I think, just spun out by himself. The 9 of Richard Johnson. Yeah, this was the point when he came down. He just got loose. Having no idea what to do with this wreck and just slid. Anyways, let's take an on board here with the 14. And then we'll take you back to the green here from Richmond. Man, you can really see how loose he got right there. Back up on track, he's going to have a lot of damage right in his front side of the car. A lot of damage to that 14 car. Maybe they can bust out the hammer and maybe fix it. But we'll take you back to the green here from Richmond. We are back. We have two new retired cars, the 30 and the 19. The 17, 75, 31, and 81 have one lap down. Petro London got the lead back after around the pit stops. Wilhelm Schultz second. Mason Wood third, trying to come back in the championship. Jacob York fourth, and Anna and Luke, no, Leia Walker fifth. And maybe we can get a couple laps green here. London just trying to hold off these cars because it keeps getting caution. He could just easily win this race. But they're going to go four. Oh, Brendan Patterson around. He could spun around, but no one hits him, and he keeps it going. But he's going to lose about every position right there. That is a tough break for Brendan Patterson, and Petru London led us back to the uh, caution flag, barely holding off Wilhelm Schultz. Oh, and it looks like there was another wreck right here with involving Dylan Young, Richard Johnson. Oh, man, it looks like a pretty nasty wreck, too. Well, Brendan Patterson uh, spins, and he is going to lose every position, and that's going to put him in the back of the field where all the wrecks are happening. Let's take a look to see what happened. It looks like Nicholas Guerrero gets into the back of him and basically just flat out turns him there. Yeah, Nicholas Guerrero just basically flat out turned Brendan Patterson on there. I think there's another wreck back here, maybe all on Brian James. It may of right there. I think Brian James spun also back here. Oh no, he gets. Oh, they want four wide, and he's gonna just break and get loose. Same with the nine into the thirteen. Does a nice. Oh, almost did a pretty good job of keep, keeping it off the wall. Then there was a wreck up here. I'm gonna take a guess. It started around here. No, the four gets turned by Dylan White, and there's the O one. Oh, and right in front of the field, there's the 14 going to somehow get by that. 82 going to slow down. There's a 3 and the 9. They're not going to have any chance of slowing up. And 
Man, let's see how the, the nine came through there with a head of steam. W did he get pushed or did he just not decide to use the brakes? He may have not even seen the wreck because he was right behind Dilton Young. And he tries to slow down He and he just couldn't and then he gets nailed by the 32. Gonna take a whale of a hit there. Let's take it on board here with the nine and see if he could actually see what that wreck in front of him. And then we'll take you back to the green here from Richmond. Yeah, he could definitely see that wreck in front of him. And he got a nice little hit right there. But we'll take you back to the green here from Richmond. We are back with two new retired cars, Dylan Young and Richard Johnson. Same cars are a lap down. This time, Chris Rickenball fixed that damage from his last wreck a little bit. Same with David Rochester. They're going to have the first two spots. Then it's Pichu London, Nick Warren, and Mesa Ward rounding out the top five. Now, Pichu London, he has to be careful here. He doesn't want to screw it up because he knows there are slower cars in front of him. He just has to be real careful coming through these corners or he could be one of those drivers being wrecked. And look at Nicholas Warren. Going to make it four wide a little bit and actually gets in the Pichu London, but they keep it going, and but there might have been a wreck back there. Oh, the, oh man. Pichu London in a squirrel's nest right now. And Caution is back out. Oh, and Jacob Sisko. He's up there in points. He's involved. Justin Muse. And Jace Allen. The oh, Dylan. <gasps> Brian James is flipping. And he's up there in points. Wow, today's just not a points contender's day. Except for Pichu London. Who just actually fell back a couple positions right there. He fell back to fourth. Slowly getting shuffled back through the field. Got slammed in the wall coming off two. Probably going to have to fix some of that fender damage. We'll take you to see what happened as a crazy wreck just happened here. So it looks like the 60 car spun ahead and Jacob Sisko had nobody to go. Oh man, he's just going to nail the 62. Wow. You see the 32 going by, man. He just nailed the 62 right there. I mean the 60. See how the 60... Oh, the 60 gets turned by Brian. No, actually kind of came down there. Kind of turned himself. Backs into the wall. Almost had a save till the... 01 finished her off, and then here comes the 09 just backing it into her. Or him. And then that's the final solution of that wreck, I guess you could say. Now, Brian James, let's see what happened to him. He was flipping on the front right away. Oh, he just kind of squeezes the 29 coming off the corner and spins them both out. 29 to Dylan Putty, probably not going to be too happy with the 13. And oh! The 01 just nailed him. Driver's side door. Going to nail the 13, and he's going to go up and over. Oh, how how fast was that 01 going of Danielle Jones? Oh, man, a good boost of speed there, too. About 76 miles per hour. And, I mean, you, you may think that's not a lot, but that's enough to really feel a jolt right there. Take it on board here with Brian James. And then we will take you back to the green. And about we're about halfway through this race now. Brian James had just a hectic la lap there. Looks like he just got karma from the 60. Maybe the 29. I mean, Brian James driving a little reckless that lap. Oh, maybe he didn't like the 29 making a slide move right there. I thought he could just kind of slam in the wall there, but it didn't work. Back in the wall and just get nailed. And back up on all four wheels and tries to drive away, gets under the apron. And he just kind of casually drives away after that. We'll take you back to the green flag here from Richmond. We are back. A couple more recars have retired. The 09, 73, 01, 13 have all retired. Peachy London has the lead back. He's probably happy. He doesn't want to be stuck with all that crap going on back there. Nick Warren second. Seth Cole with some damage third. Mason Wood fourth. And the five of Wilhelm Schultz fifth. And Peachy London off to a good start. But that 17 just got just good as a start. 17 had some engine issues earlier. But he's trying to come back from that. And they got to be real careful coming through these corners because they're three wide in some places. 
Looks like they got through that corner clean, but turn four ain't no more giving. And cautions not out. We actually made a lap. That is a miracle right there. And Peter Lund, they're trying to make some distance between him and Seth Cole. Oh, but that... Oh, oh, they, they get close. Look at... Oh, the 97 and... Oh, there's actually a pretty big wreck back there. They almost all had a save. Jacob York involved, and he's just getting nailed by everybody, and he almost flipped. And there's a, just a junkyard on the whole track. Peter London going to lead back to the line. With, I think, Jake Rogers. No, Nick Warren second. And Seth Cole had to make a really good save right there. I don't I, I don't think he actually saved it, though. I think he did get involved. And a pretty big wreck. Ooh, and a Greg started up there. Heavy damage to the 86. Ooh, and the 4. Not too happy with the 86, it looks like. Daniel Larimore not too happy. Because they're just kind of going at it a little bit. As there is smoke all over through that turn, as you'll see as they drive by it here. There's just smoke all over the place. And they're going to come down pit road and take those two cars to the garage as we will take you to see what happened in that huge pile up here at Richmond. We are back. It looks like these three get together. 74 gets turned by the 33 into the 74. And, I mean, 75. Uh, Mason Wood makes a great save then. I think something happened to Seth Cole here. Yeah, I think he may have got turned, maybe? Oh, no, he just got on the apron, and he didn't want to come down the pit road, but he kind of got forced to. Trying to just get above the, uh, uh, what's it called, car? 17. Oh, William Duncan just turned Anna Gregg there. What happened to her? And anyways, we saw the 97 get turned into the inside wall. Austin Oko got turned by somebody into the inside wall, and I just went way too far back there. Oh, four wide. He's going to get hit by Anna Gregg, I think that is. Yeah, and no, Leia Walker. And actually, that was like a couple wrecks just occurring right there. That was Yeah, that was a couple one just with those four wrecks going right on in the front of the back straightaway. Uh, a lot of drivers that just had nowhere to go. A lot of them were already damaged cars, and they just kind of got stuck with behind that. The car that most notably got stuck in that wreck is Jacob York, fourth in points. Looking to turn it around today, but it looks like it's just not going to be his day. See, that was a... Actually, the 81 kind of slowed up the field, and that was just this. They all got shuffled up. Kalsanowski went down on the inside wall. Patterson going to slip by. Same with Anna Gregg. 27 going to nail the 92. William Duncan. Oh, man. I mean, very, barely got by that. 92 going to spin. There's the 4 going to nail the 31. Oh, 31. Jordan Apple little involved. There's the 10. The 98 going to get a piece. These two sliding in. Then Anna Gray got spun out some up somewhere up here. Gets loose, 27 slides up into her. Gonna nail the wall. And William Duncan gonna nail Anna Gregg. And that's a tough break for uh, William Duncan. That is a really tough break for William Duncan, actually. He's starting to come back from that wreck he had earlier. Let's watch this whole wreck. Watch the field shuffle up here. Just shuffled up right there from the wreck occurring in front of him. Anna Gregg gets by, and then here comes the 27. Oh, that was just a hit. Now let's watch from William Duncan's view, and then we'll take you back to the green. He took a nail of a hit there, and we'll take you back to the green here from Richmond. We are back with a few new retired cars. The, thir the 01, 13, 31, 98, 4, 10, and 86, and 11 have all retired. Grayson Rickerball is your leader. Seth Cole is second. 18, third, 2, fourth, 74, fifth. Chris Rickerball with that damage in the back is still managing to keep race pace pretty good here. Hopefully we can just get a couple laps in. It doesn't look like it's going to be that late. The 22 gets spun. Is that going to bring out a caution? 
He spun back onto the track. That may bring out a caution right there. Yes, it will be. Chris Wickedball will lead us back to the green. I mean, caution flag. Eventually, we're just going to run out of cars. To wreck. But we'll take it to see what happened to Alex Jones. Going good. He actually almost got off the bumper of the 32. But the 32 going to come up a lap car. And spin him. And then the 75 comes to finish it off. This almost would have not caused a caution. Except for the part that he spun back onto the track. And that's actually going to hurt his right front. His, it looks like that his day of chances of winning are coming to an end. He was he had a real nice clean right front. And you're just going to watch it make this really kind of bulging move here. As the right front just going to nail the wall. Same with the back end. And his day came to an end as Alex Jones up there in points. Not what he wanted to see. So we'll take you back to the green here from Richmond. And we are back with no new retired cars. 19 cars back in the lap. Seth Cole is your leader. Dylan White second. Uh, Jacob Lawler third. Mason Wood fourth. And Nicholas Warren fifth. We're back to the green here at Richmond. Seth Cole going to clear the 97. Same with the 18 and maybe the 82 here. Oh, whoa, look at the, the run and the 97 guy, and he's going to almost, yeah, he's going to wreck right in front of the leaders, and he may save it. No, he's not right in front of the whole field. Pedro London involved. Oh, I knew it. Once he got back there, it was almost inevitable. And Pedro London going to have damage on all four corners of that car. A huge pileup just broke out, and Seth Cole was the leader back to the line, and you can see that damage in the front of the car. But he's still managing race pace and still keeping up here with the field. And he maybe could get a win here. He has one in the cup. Now looking. No, he has one in the cup truck. I mean, cup and nationwide looking for one in the truck here to be the second ever driver to do that. But he has a good amount of damage. It's going to be tough for Seth Cole. As we will take you to see what happened. As we are back watching 97 here get a run of speed up in the Jacob Lawler. And he almost had the safety. Bounces off a couple times. That kind of finished it. 33 right in front of the whole fielders. Peachy London. Brendan Patterson, the 5. And the 60. Really just kind of slowed up the whole field. A lot of cars did a nice job at braking. Oh, Peachy London. What a tough break for him. I, I had a feeling once he got stuck back there, it was inevitable for the 2. He does a nice job getting by the 33. But there went the 68. Into the wall. And all four corners of this car are going to have damage. And a good amount of it, too. And, man, that is just a tough break for Pichu London. As we will take you back to the green in the final laps here from Richmond. We are back with some new retired cars. <clears throat> the 97, 88, 18, 60, and 7 have retired. We have 20 cars left in the race, 14 on the lead lap. Seth Cole is your leader, Jacob Lawler second, Nick Warren third, David Rochester fourth, and Charles Sanford fifth. As we are back to the green here from Richmond. Seth Cole really looking to be the second driver to win in all three series. And oh, he got real close to the outside of the 75. They're three wide off the corner. And Jacob York just got into the wall there. Did he save it though? Yes, he did. No caution will come out. And he nailed the wall, and that's going to hurt his chances. Oh, but the 33 and the 2 just spun, and the 33 flips over. And that will bring out the caution with Seth Cole still as your leader, still racing back around here. Back around to the caution flag. And he will lead back to the caution flag. So we will take you to see what happened. Looks like they were both on the apron trying to miss something. And they come back up and when you do that, you just get real loose. And they got close to that pit wall. They both just got loose, spun out right in front of the 27 and the 29. And, oh, there's a 33 up and over right there. And we will take you back to the green after we do one on, on camera with the 33 here. We'll take you back to the green in the final laps here from Richmond. As we are going to restart with 10 to go, there is no new retired cars, 20 cars on the race, 14 on the lead lap. We are just running out of cars, and the 84 is your leader with 10 to go here at Richmond. 
Maybe with a single file restart, we could possibly get a couple laps in. Oh, nope, they're going to go four wide. No, three wide through this corner. 82 gets into the 92, but they keep it going. Oh, and the 74 is making a pass on Seth Cole. Remember, the 74 has no marks on that car, so this could be easy for him. And Seth Cole is still trying to battle back, and caution is out. 14 of Jacob's jump has spun. I think the leaders are still racing back to the line. Yes, they are. Seth Cole and Nick Warren are still racing back to the line. Seth Cole wants to lead back to the line. 74 getting a run on the outside, but Seth Cole going to lead us back to the caution flag here at Richmond for only a few to go. Oh, it is down to it between Seth Cole, Nick Warren, and David Rochester here at Richmond, but we will take you to see what happened. Man, Pichu London, ever since that first wreck, he's just having a bad day as he comes down onto the 29, and right up into the wall they go. And 29 takes the nail of a hit for no motor right there. And the 2, maybe not too happy with the 29 from earlier or something. Then the 14 got spun somewhere. Oh, that, that was the lap before. Th that's actually coming to get the caution. This is actually the real reason for the caution. Oh! Maybe that's why, maybe the 2 saw the 29 turn the 14 here. Yeah, the 29 definitely came up and turned the 14, and maybe the 2 saw that, and was maybe not too happy about that. It's right up back in front of the field, and oh, he was lucky no one hit him. But we'll take you back to the final laps here from Richmond. We are back with a couple new retired cars, the 29 and the 2 have retired. <laughs> <laughs> 10 cars on the lead lap, 18 left in the race. Seth Cole is your leader, Nick Warren second, David Rochester third, Charles Sanford fourth, and Chris Rickenball fifth. Now, if I were these drivers, I would race this lap like the last lap because I have a feeling it's going to be the last lap, basically, with all the wrecks we're getting. And the, fi the 74 is right on that as he's going right to the inside of the 84. you got to be careful. Look at the 59 of Rochester making it three wide there for a second. And I think we already had a wreck. No, we didn't. But the 74 still has the lead. 74 wants the caution flag to come out right now. And it looks like no one is fast enough for him. Looks like the 59 and the 84 are having trouble catching him. Is caution out? No, it's not. We're still going. We may actually race it back to the end here. Oh, and Seth Cole is pitting. We're getting reported a malfunction in the car, and it looks like Nick Warren will win this race. No one is near him. Nick Warren sat in second the whole race waiting. This is a chance, and there is a wreck back there. And Nick Warren will win here at Richmond for race 18. Congratulations to Nick Warren. And what a tough break for Seth Cole. But Nick Warren will win this race. Congratulations to Nick Warren. And he kept that car basically clean. A good hit on the right side though from the wall. But he kept it clean. And he was the winner of this race. Actually a pretty nail of a hit on that car. But only seven cars finished on the lead lap here. Charles Sanford going to get second, Wilhelm Schultz third, Chris Rickettball fourth, and 33 and Mason Wood fifth. And Jacob York going to, after all those wrecks, going to rally back for seventh here. Good run by Jacob York. Well, we will take you to your race results and season standings.